for movies with Martin Scorsese and Robert De Niro. Their collaborations across nine features and five decades have produced some of the most celebrated and memorable films of all time. From 1973's Mean Streets to 2019's The Irishman, the 20s will see them team up once again in the western Killers of the Flower Moon. My personal favourite, Taxi Driver, about a Vietnam veteran's descent into insanity as he works the night shifts in a New York cab, in my opinion, also has the best poster art of them all. Movie art lovers, welcome back. This week I've got the one sheet poster for uh, the 1976 movie Taxi Driver. Um, it's always been in my top five, top 10 films of all time. Uh, film when I saw it, many many years ago I'm probably only like the early teens it's a film that really resonated with me I loved it and I know you can't compare the mean streets of New York City to the golden mile of South End Seafront but everything about it the performances the music the direction the dialogue it was just a really powerful film and shortly after I saw it I went and hoovered up everything in the local video shop that was by Martin Scorsese, Robert De Niro. And uh, yeah, I still love the film to this day. But let's go and check out the poster. So here we have it. The US one sheet poster for Taxi Driver. With art by Guy Pilar. Born in 1934, Guy Pilar was a Belgian artist who had great success with his 1973 coffee table book, Rock Dreams where his paintings would depict stars of pop, soul and rock in various situations. The title of his Frank Sinatra entry would inspire a certain 80s band to take the name a decade later. He designed album covers, most notably for David Bowie's 1974 album Diamond Dogs, where his original gatefold man-dog hybrid artwork was literally the dog's bollocks. The record company swiftly airbrushed these out for later releases although unedited versions did circulate and still fetch thousands of pounds on the collector's market. Guy collaborated with director Vin Vendors on a few occasions and designed posters for the European market, his art for Paris, Texas being far superior to any of the UK and US promotional materials. Unfortunately, Guy was to succumb to cancer in 2008 and to this day, his estate works to sustain his legacy as an important contributor to 20th century art. So in preparation for any of his paintings, what Guy Pilar liked to do was to create a photo montage collage of the subject before he'd get around to painting anything. And an interesting fact about this particular painting was that Robert De Niro's body there is actually Guy Pilart's body that he had painted Robert De Niro's head onto it. So he's immortalised himself in this particular painting. What's going on in those apartment blocks? Travis is uneasy. He's looking around, he's suspect of everyone in this neighbourhood. Jacket there, slightly bulging. <laughs> Has he already approached Easy Andy and got his weapons that he's concealing? So as you would expect, there's hundreds of thousands of reproduction posters of this. Uh, but the original US one sheet is always coming at the standard 27 by 41 inches. And you'll always have the NSS detail on the corner there, 7614. With the usual NSS detail for the era in the middle there. GAU printers, Union Mark and the copyright details on the side. The artwork was reissued for the film's 20th anniversary in 1996. However, these posters are obvious to spot. Now, before anyone mentions it, this is clearly a, a bad restoration job. You can see from the, the fold lines where they've been restored. Now, it wasn't like this when I got this done uh, about 20 years ago. It's been in storage for about 15 and I've only recently taken it out from storage. 
but you can see where those fold lines have um, degraded over the years and whether they use marker or a bad paint but it's um yeah it's completely spoilt the look particularly on the credits so i will resubmit that for re-restoration with me current linen backer and restorer who will do a sterling job i'm sure in comparison to the restoration services that i was using about 20 years ago so uh, it's unfortunate and there you go another great poster another great artist hope you agree don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the episodes share the link spread the word and the love for movie poster art appreciation do another episode soon thanks very much